Hey folks, John Adamson with Seeking Light, and today we're beginning session three of our uh, medical mandate ethics course. So um, this slide's not going to be in the course, but I just want to recap some of what we've covered. All people in the world have what we'd call a worldview, and upon that worldview, we base our lives and we judge things, good or evil. Not everybody has a worldview that's going to overlap with the next person. In fact, we have a lot of divergent worldviews. Another thing that we talked about is the fact that there is no such thing as personal truth. There's only objective truth. And that's important for us to know. And this truth can be discoverable by all people, though, I believe, uh, because we are going to see that in our overlapping worldviews, we're going to have key principles upon which we can all agree upon. And those are the things that we're going to get into in just a little bit. The tr this truth, therefore, can be used to discuss what is morally right or wrong with large societal agreement. Now, one of the things that we can start off with with any discussion on the ethics of medical mandates, especially related to the shot, is that uh, most people have stuck with one particular topic when they're talking about ethics related to the shot. So let's start with that. We'll look at that together and see if, it's, if it is enough of a discussion about medical mandates. And that discussion starts us with what's commonly referred to as the golden rule. Now, most people in Western society probably know the golden rule mainly from a passage in the Bible like Luke 6.31. And this is the New International Version. Do to others as you would have them do to you. This has been used as a large basis for the discussion about the vaccine. We would want to get the vaccine because it would prevent us from passing on the disease to other people. And that's usually where people leave the discussion. Now, there have been other versions of the Golden Rule in other, uh, other religions, other cultures. Uh, so, for example, uh, this from the Hindu religion, one should never do something to others that one would regard as an injury to one's own self. In brief, this is Dharma. Anything else is succumbing to desire. Um, or Sextus, the Pythagorean. You didn't know that it, there was such a Pythagorean, did you? you? You probably remember back in high school, you know, math, learning the Pythagorean theorem. Um, but anyway, what did he say? What you do not want to happen to you, do not do it yourself either. Okay? And then Seneca, the, the younger, oh, I'm blocking it. Anyway, just know it's a good quote. Um, but the golden rule has been <laughs> around for some time now. Now, if we were to remove a belief in a deity and we have what we'd call secular humanism, there are a number of humanists, like this one, for example, who believe they've found a basis for ethics without God. Now, I, I would dispute that, but they, ha they do help us form a basis upon which multiple worldviews can have overlapping values to begin the discussion of ethics. So let's uh, read what this uh, lady has to say. Trying to live according to the golden rule means trying to empathize with other people, including those who may be very different from us. Empathy is at the root of kindness, compassion, understanding, and respect, qualities that we all appreciate being shown whoever we are, whatever we think, and wherever we come from. So setting the grounds for a universal set of ethical principles upon which we can have this discussion about medical mandates. So thank you, Maria, from uh, Think Humanism. So here's some things that I've heard, I've read, I've seen on social media that people have said related to using the golden rule as being the end all be all of the discussion about medical mandates. You should get the blank for the good of everyone else. If you really are a, you know, insert religious belief. So for me, you know, 
people have said, if you really are a Christian, you would definitely get the blank. Or certainly, if, insert religious leader, founder's name, so certainly if Jesus were alive today, he would have gotten the blank. Um, I've heard all these. Now, remember I talked about the fact that we want to start off with talking about simple ethics, and we're using the basic argument right now. We're talking about the basic argument right now from one side saying, just get the shot because, you know, the golden rule. Um, however, I'm arguing that that is a really simplistic, not simple, but simplistic discussion related to vaccine mandates. So what does simplistic mean? Treating complex issues and problems as if they were much simpler than they really are. It's not that simple. And that's where we're gonna continue with this discussion. So I'm not saying that the golden rule is bad. In fact, spoken by, uh, I believe, in its truest form, by the one whom I have the greatest regard for. It doesn't mean that you shouldn't live by the golden rule. In fact, it's not a bad place to end on. I know a lot of really well-meaning people who believe that because of the golden rule, they followed uh, you know, getting the shot for themselves. And I know even of some who believe that it would be according to the golden rule if vaccines were mandated, everybody was forced to get it. Uh, somebody told me a story that they um, their own sweet grandmother, who wouldn't harm a flea, recently said to them something to the effect that uh, if I had the strength, I would tackle someone and pin them down so they had to get the shot. Um, and that surprised this individual that their grandmother would say such a thing. Now, Joe Biden has given us some quotes about the golden rule himself, you know, believing that that's the end all be all of the discussion of ethics about getting the shot. Um, so these are some quotes of his. Um, if you are vaccinated, you're not going to be hospitalized. Well, that, we're gonna talk about that later on. That, that's, a, that's a lie. That's not true. Uh, we're gonna talk about that. Um, you're not gonna be hospitalized. You're not going to be in the ICU. Hmm, that's a lie. And you're not going to die. Another lie. Biden said, now this was back from July. Biden said at a forum at Mount St. Joseph University. So it's gigantically important that we all act like Americans who care about our fellow Americans. So for him, uh, the religious group is Americans. And if you're not vaccinated, you're not an American. Um, Biden, and this is an indirect quote, uh, Biden said unvaccinated people are hindering economic growth, costing jobs, and putting unnecessary strain on the healthcare system. So um, if you want to treat others as you want to be treated, um, because you want to keep your job, right? You don't want the uh, hospital system to be burdened, therefore you're going to go ahead and get the shot. Um, you know, there's that. And then here's a very recent quote from him. But it's, and he's talking about the Omicron variant, it's here now and it's spreading and it's gonna increase. We are looking at a winter of severe illness and death for the unvaccinated, for themselves, their families, and the hospitals they will soon overwhelm. So you ungodly, unchristian, unloving people not following the golden rule by getting the shot. So Joe Biden's visited the golden rule too in multiple statements. So let's not take the Joe Biden approach. We should have much deeper discussions about the ethics involved with vaccine mandates or any medical mandate for you to begin with. And so there's nuances. It goes beyond a simplistic view and this simple statement because there are other ethical principles involved and frankly, I'm not convinced that the golden rule is best served by just getting the shot. Well, thank you for watching the third installment of my developing course. Uh, I am gonna clean some things up. I may in a course not take such a 
direct shot at uh, the president. Um, but I think it's illustrative of how the golden rule is used in multiple different ways in arguing the case for uh, medical mandates. Um, again, I covet your comments. I, yes, I know one of the commandments is thou shalt not covet, but I don't think he meant comments, um, constructive criticism when, when he gave that commandment. Um, so definitely comments and then support. Again, I'll put in the uh, description and uh, I'll try to put it as a comment uh, if I remember to do that uh, when I upload this for my uh, Venmo and uh, Patreon. And, you know, if, uh, if you would consider supporting me as a Patreon, um, there's uh, like a low level way you can do it. I, I don't fully understand it, but perhaps you've used that. And um, anyway, uh, it's late. I'm going to go ahead and head home. I'm at the office. It's after 10. And uh, it's almost Christmas. And I probably won't do, I don't believe, I doubt it, another one before Christmas. So I'm going to wish you a very Merry Christmas and a, well, I'll talk to you before New Year. Take care. God bless.